Please welcome your host, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So September was a month that was filled with announcements from Microsoft and a lot of them were about M365 Copilot or Copilot for M365. I don't know what the right terminology is anymore. It keeps changing so much. But anyways, um, I'm gonna talk in this particular video about a feature that is related to M365 Copilot and that is M365 Copilot Pages, which is a really nice feature and allows you to really become a lot more productive. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now, let me show you how we can actually utilize M365 Copilot Pages to become more productive. So for this example, I'm gonna to put together information about RSM that includes office locations, a short blurb about RSM, uh, and then a table of open work orders as well, because I can ask Copilot about work data as well. So let's go ahead and, and start simple. I'm gonna ask Copilot to find me some information on RSM. And now it's gonna go ahead and try to find that data. And here you can kind of see, right, that it's giving me information from my company because I have this set to work, but it's also giving me some details that it found online from the web, right? You can also see here uh, are the different sources where that information came from. Now, previously, if I would put a document together, I would have to copy and paste that, right, from here, from Copilot inside of like a Word document or a PowerPoint document or something like that. And this is where M365 Copilot Pages makes it a lot easier for us. All we have to do here is click on Edit in Pages and it will copy and paste the responses from Copilot inside of this page. And you can also see that it now uses that prompt, right? Find me information on RSM as the page name. So I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna call this RSM info. And obviously you can name it whatever you want it to be named, right? But you can also see here, that's the new name of this document of this page. And then you can kind of see here, right? That it does copy everything over. So also when it says, sure, here's some information on RSM. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna go ahead and select this and then I'm gonna say, I'm gonna click here on delete, right? So now, oops, let's try that again. I'm gonna click here on delete. So now all we have left is those two bullets that came from the web and then also let us remove this response from Copilot. So that's the start of my page here. Now I can continue on to ask Copilot some additional information. So for example, I want to get a list of all of the RSM offices in the United States. Let's see what it comes back with. Here we go. So here we have all of those different locations and we have it singled out by the different dates here as well. So if I wanted this to be formatted different or I wanted additional information like a phone number, I could just ask Copilot to do that. But this looks good to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and click edit in pages again. And now you can see that it just adds that information to my page. Again, I'm going to go ahead and remove Copilot's last question. And now what I want to do is I want to add some data from Dynamics 365 field service. And I can do that because I have my Dynamics 365 field service plugin here as well. So let's play around with this. I'm going to say, show me, let's see, show me all work orders for RSM in, in a table. And now it should utilize that plugin to get me that data from field service. And let's see what it comes back with. Hopefully it's actually going to show that in a table as requested, nicely format it. Let's take a look and see what it comes back with. And here you go. So you can see here that it's actually giving me the work order ID, which I really don't care about. It's giving me the work order number, but it also gives me 
a link to that work order as well. Now let's see if we can actually ask it to also add another column here. I'm going to say, please add a column for service account. Let's see if it does that. So again, we're just having the conversation with Copilot, right? While it's giving us the responses in this particular case by utilizing, and there we go, by utilizing that plugin that I just showed you. So unfortunately it is blank, so it's not doing that, but let's just forget about that. We're going to add that here as well. I'm going to click edit in pages and I'm going to remove the columns I don't need. So I really don't need this unique ID so I can delete that. And we already know who the service account is, right? That is RSM. So I can get rid of that as well. And then if I wanted to remove the links, I can do that obviously as well. Let's just go ahead and delete that. So you can see how easy it is to put that document together, right? That page. Now let's, I want to show you one more thing where I want to go ahead and build a project using this template. Cause I actually have a template here. I'm going to click here on plus and that's going to be here in files. And here's my agile project plan template. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I'm going to ask it to look at that document and then utilize that right and build out a project for that. So let's say what it does. Look at that. It's now grabbing that data from that word document. And again, I can go ahead and say edit in pages here and it will just add it to my page. Now I also wanted to show you that when that page actually is created, what is actually happening under the covers, right? Well, you might heard of something that is called loop. It's actually another Microsoft product that is part of Microsoft 365. So when a co-pilot page is created, a loop file is created. So yeah, you heard that, right? A co-pilot page is really a loop file. Now the loop file is stored in a new user owned SharePoint embedded container. And it is important to understand this because everything that loop is storing in these containers will count against the tenant's SharePoint quota. Now, since Copilot pages are loop files, administrators can control them using the loop admin switches. But, and this is very, very important. If you disable loop in your tenant, it is not going to disable Copilot pages. Microsoft actually added a new switch that is specifically for Copilot pages so that you can make sure that it's more easy to control these Copilot pages in your organization. Now, the reason that I'm telling you this is because if I want to go ahead and share this page with others so we can start to collaborate on this page, I can do that in two different ways. I can either create this page link or I can say, Hey, I want to go ahead and copy this component and then embed it into a Microsoft 365 app, such as maybe word or even an email. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I can copy that link that was created. Now, let me show you what I can do now. I'm going to go here to Outlook where, by the way, I can go ahead and go back to that chat, right? I can go ahead and, and click on that and access that. But what I wanted to show you here is I want to go ahead and generate a new email and then copy that component, right? Find me information on loop. You can see here is that loop component. This is that page that I just created. Now I can email this to others and then we can start to collaborate on this page in real time. Now, the other thing that you might not have noticed here is this navigational item. This is called pages, right? So this is where those pages are stored. So I can go here at any particular point in time to take a look and to edit my page. Now here we are in the teams chat. And again, if I click on this, 
this is that conversation that I just started in biz chat. So again, I can pick this up wherever, right? I can also access that page from wherever, which is a nice thing. So it really doesn't matter where you're working, whether you're in Outlook or you're in Teams or you're in biz chat, right? I can go back and access this page from wherever. I can also, again, start to share that page also from wherever. Pretty cool stuff, right? And this is really gonna allow us to be a lot more productive and work a lot faster. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.